Conservationists at the Quagga Project in Cape Town, South Africa, say they have created animals that look like the quagga. They use selective breeding with Southern Plain zebras to try to recreate the species that has been extinct for more than a hundred years. The project first started in 1979, initiated by Ren Ho Rao, who passed away two years ago. His colleague, George Isao, has continued his project. When he remounted the, uh, the Cape Quagga and also the the Quache in Mainz uh, Museum uh, in Germany. He found tissue, uh, which he then collected, and he sent it to two groups of American scientists who did DNA testing. And they found that the Quache is actually a subspecies of the Plains zebra. Therefore, the main gene pool still exists within the Plains zebra. Through selective breeding with Southern Plains zebras, the first fall was born in 2005, but without the distinctive font coloration of quagga. Then in May 2008, the project identified a fall as quagga. However, Craig Lanner, coordinator of the quagga, says the breeding would not bring back the quagga. He then started a selective breeding program of a, a, a quagga, a plain zebra, trying to breed out the, the continual striping, trying to breed back into the animal the, um, or should I rather use the word revival rather than breeding back? Because understand is you cannot bring something back from extinction, but you can revive a subspecies. However, zoology Peter Loy says the other genetically coded features, such as habitat adaptation unique to the quagga, could not be recreated in the new quagga breed. He also has concern over the recreation of extinct animal. He says that this could lead to people thinking the animal becoming extinct is no longer an issue. So it would be very unfair to say you have recreated the quagga. And there's also a danger. Uh, and the danger is that you could create the wrong impression to people and say that once an animal is extinct, don't worry, we can always recreate it. Critics say it is impossible to know whether animal produced are true quaggas, since they were never studied by modern science. Loyot added that the project is a special set of circumstances where there are several subspecies that people can use to try and produce an animal that looks similar in external appearance to the quagga. He cautions against saying they have recreated versions of extinct animals because he thinks he would make people stop caring about endangered animals. DITV Weekly.